Ukraine was the focus during the second day of speeches at the General Assembly today. And President Biden's address was no exception. He said Russia is trying to erase the war-torn nation from the map. CBS 2's Dick Brennan is here now with more of the president's speech. Dick? Well, Jessica and Maurice, President Biden called for solidarity at the U.N. and the Security Council in standing up to Russia. This is two members, Russia and China, seem to be at odds with the U.N.'s core principles. We will stand in solidarity with Ukraine. We will stand in solidarity against Russia's aggression, period. At the U.N. General Assembly, President Biden said Russia wants to destroy Ukraine's right to exist as a state. Whoever you are, wherever you live, Whatever you believe, that should not, that should make your blood run cold. Ukrainian Americans here in New York were delighted to hear the full fledged support of their homeland from the president at the UN. The reaction is fantastic to President Biden, you know, concretely saying that he supports Ukraine, but also the fact that we're see, going to see some kind of reform of the UN Security Council, uh, and that's well needed and beyond, beyond the time for this. But Russian President Vladimir Putin ominously warned that he still has weapons of mass destruction, read that as nuclear, and he's prepared to use them. We will use all the means at our disposal to protect Russia and our people, he said. This is not a bluff. Almost every year there's another uh, statement from Putin saying, I'm going to use nuclear weapons. I think the world needs to confront his, uh, his threats with actual action to make sure that he doesn't invade any other country. While the war in Ukraine was the number one topic of the president's address, Mr. Biden also touched on other global issues from hunger to climate change. Much of Pakistan is still underwater, needs help. Meanwhile, the Horn of Africa faces unprecedented drought. Families are facing impossible choices, choosing which child to feed. The president also held a series of side meetings, including one with the new British Prime Minister, Liz Truss. We're our closest ally in the world, and there's a lot we can do, continue to do together. Now, in Russia, President Putin called a partial mobilization of 300,000 into military service. It triggered an unusual protest in Moscow in which some chanted, send Putin to the trenches. More than 1,200 people were arrested. Jessica. All right. Thank you so much, Dick.